Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Marvel Knights Netflix Electra figure, which is the first of these figures that I'm going to be reviewing. And I gotta tell you, for the most part, these figures are pretty damn good, and it's very cool because, you know, we haven't had the best track record with consistency from Hasbro on their Marvel Legends, but they seem to be getting their stuff together, at least to some extent, and I'm very happy about that. So let's go ahead and get this figure off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about six and a quarter inches tall, which makes it just about 16 centimeters, just shy of 16 centimeters, so pretty good looking figure, pretty good size for Marvel Legends anyway. And I gotta say, you know, we did see these parts, at least some of them, reused for uh, Mary Jane, but uh, I'm okay with it. And then we're also going to see some of them on uh, Jessica Jones, but they're sculpted well. I mean, the pants look good, the articulation works well, we'll get to that in a little bit. And overall, the figure is very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we'll talk about the paint now. So the head is done in the same kind of style that we're starting to see on some of the import figures where they have a machine do kind of like a dot matrix thing. It's like tampography. I guess it's a type of tampography. And it allows for much better detail and generally a, a much cleaner paint job. And it does look really, really nice. Very, very well done. Um, that's only really for the eyes and eyebrows. Maybe not even the eyebrows, but I think they're included. Uh, the face mask and the red here and then the hair, that's all painted in the traditional way. And it all looks really good. It's worth noting that this part of her torso, I do believe, is painted black. Because I'm pretty sure it's molded in this gray color. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And then they did paint the silver button on there, so that's nice. The hands are painted well enough. And then all of the flesh tone is molded, so that is pretty good. Now, here's the thing. I have the same issue on this figure that I had on Mary Jane, and you can see it right now. Uh, this whole torso area, it looks like it was painted in a rainstorm because it's got all kinds of spots and speckles on it. So that's definitely a big bummer. I don't know if that's going to be uniform, but since I've had it happen to two of my figures, it's possible you guys will have the same issue. Now in terms of accessories, this figure has two different heads. One masked head and then one unmasked head. And they both look very, very nice. It's definitely a pretty good likeness. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good enough. And, and the paint jobs are just great, the hair is great, uh, the ponytails are not posable, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay, I guess it's something we can live with. And then we do have two sides. Now one of them was totally bent up in the package for me, but hopefully I'll be able to get that straightened out. So not the most accessories in the world, but it's probably going to get the job done. Now there is one other issue, aesthetically speaking, on this figure, and that is the lower arms are huge. Look at her lower arm. It is bigger than her upper arm, significantly, at every angle. Normally, it's only from the front. Your forearm should be wider than your uh, bicep, but then from the side, your bicep and tricep should be much wider than your forearm. And that is not the case. That's not even the case for her wrist. It's bigger than her bicep. It's just, she has humongous lower arms, and it's... Uh, well, I'm not going to make any jokes, but it's just, it's not a good looking look. It's not great. Once you pose her, you can kind of hide it, but it does look a little bad. Okay, now as far as the articulation goes, the head is on a hinged ball peg, as is the norm, and you can see right inside of her skull. It's not ideal. The head doesn't actually sit too high on the body. Proportionally speaking, it looks okay, but the way the articulation is handled, she's just, her head is not connected to her neck. That is definitely, what is that? That's definitely no bueno. You get all kinds of crazy posability out of it, but unless you're going for an exorcist look, you really don't need that. I mean, that is that is wicked unrealistic. Don't do that when you're posing your figures. All right, for the shoulders, we have the same shoulder we've seen before. It doesn't go quite up as far as we've seen before because it has a new torso, so be aware of that. Full rotation, though, no swivel. The elbows work just like before, except they're super bulky, so they don't even get quite 90. They will rotate, but again, the forearms are really bulky, so you're going to have some resistance. For the wrists, we have a swivel and a hinge, so that's pretty standard. Normal gripping hand on that side, and then on this side, we have the claw, or just a side gripping hand, whatever you want to call it. For her diaphragm joint, we get pretty good range all the way around, so I like that. They've been doing a really good job on the female figures with the diaphragm joints. The only thing wrong with this one is you can see it's got a little bit of the snowman effect going on. It bulges out right here rather than where it meets the the upper part, but that's not a big deal. It's not it's not super noticeable. For the hips, you get surprisingly good range, so that's really nice. You can bring them forward almost just as well. Yeah, pretty much 
I can't really ask for more, so that's that's really nice. And you have your thigh swivel, that's standard. Double jointed knees. Uh-oh, upper one's stuck. Let's try this side. Yeah, this one works. All right, so you get full 180 unless it's stuck like on this one where I can't move it. And then for the ankle, we don't get the mu that much range going forward, but we get all the range going back, and you get a pretty solid ankle rocker. So ultimately, it's a really solid figure. If you want a movie, or a Netflix, I guess it's not a movie. If you want a Netflix Electra, then uh, this is definitely the way to go. Mostly because it's the only one, but also because it's a really solid figure, and I think they did a mostly really good job. So I definitely have to recommend it. They are in stock at Big Bad Toy Store, so check out the link in the description below if you want to get one. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.